Hey guys, for this video I've got some really nice CNC aluminum arms from Vitavon. These guys are an eBay seller and these things look spectacular. I'm going to open these up and show you guys really close up as to how they're made and just how awesome they are because they are flat out nice. And as always, there are links in the description directly to where to get these off of eBay because they're an eBay seller right now. They are working on a website. But uh, I can tell you right now, these things are nice. Let's take a closer look at them. Just by looking at the top arms, you can tell these things are a work of art. I mean, wow. They're like, you know, flawless. They got the pin through here. And they got the small hole here so you can push the pin out. So this will use the stock pin, the uh, stock hinge pin. Um, wow. The lower arms are what really takes the abuse. As you can see now with the stock arm, you have one solid pin. This uses two screws to get to the bottom of the shocks. Personally, I like this design better. You know, it's just, to me, it makes more sense to go this way than with a long pin. Um, probably adds a little bit to the... Uh, work and build these rather than you know just putting a single uh, smooth bore hole in there but wow yeah it's going to be a shame to beat these things up on stuff but wow can't wait to get these things installed i also like the large head bolts not the uh two millimeter stuff because these less chance of stripping out because you know the uh, small stuff they have a chance to just you know strip out and the ball joint in there, that thing is not going anywhere. Beautiful. The good old UDR, and as you can see, I've already got some stuff off of it. You know, just to kind of speed this video up. And uh, this rear axle that I've been running, and I also have a video on that, has absolutely worked out great. I actually recently uh, did a, a service on the Planetary. Now... You just take those bolts out right there and the planetary is in your hand. Beautiful, love that design. Those are the, uh, the uh, MFR arms. Those have worked out good, but this is the focus of today. Oh yeah. So to get the upper arm off, you're gonna have to take this bolt out right here, which uses a two millimeter hex. And right here, there's a little uh, pin keeper. You gotta take that out. And you've also got to push the, that big single pin that I mentioned earlier. That has to come all the way out because the shock is through the middle of that arm. With this, you can see both of the arms. And you can see they are very similar in design because they've kind of got to be. But, yeah. Now, this is light. This does add some weight. But, you know, I really don't think it'll be an issue. Top arm is in place. And it fit perfectly it reuses the little uh pen keeper from traxxas right here it comes with a brand new bolt that you can use and it also came with some new bolts i, I use one of those right here and that's nice now it's time to get this bottom side to get the bottom arms off i'm going to go ahead and remove all of this so i can have access to the pin right there and uh then i just pull this out and since I've already got the shocks loose from the through pin that goes through there, and since I don't run a front sway bar, I should be able to just simply take this right out. With that piece off, you have to remove this little plastic piece right here, and this actually keeps your pins in place. So now I'm going to work on getting the pin out so I could just remove all this. I've already got this screw out, so this is pretty much free except for this one pin. There's the pin that pulls out, and at this point, this thing should be just about free to come out. Looking at the two arms, the new Vitavon just flat out looks really, really nice. Now, there's this thing about, you know, uh, having a plastic suspension arm that can absorb the hits and the crashes so it doesn't all get back to your chassis. Well, these arms, the stock arms, they really don't flex much at all that I can tell. Um, so I don't really know that there's ever going to be an issue with upgrading to these arms. So I'm not worried about it. <laughs> Pretty big difference, guys. Holy moly. That is beautiful. Well, not, not that side. 
this side. I mean, every angle I can possibly throw at this thing, just, wow. Oh yeah, this has trophy written all over it. That is nice. <laughs> wow. So nice. All right, it is time to take these things to the dirt. <laughs> Let's go. So the arms from Vitavon done really well. Not only are they shiny, they also performed great. They added a little bit of weight to the front, which may have actually helped the truck out, you know, in the turns a little bit maybe, because the sand tires, they have a tendency to push real bad. It did feel like it turned a little bit quicker. Maybe it was just me. Maybe it was the weight of the arms actually being a good thing on this truck. Now, I do not expect these things to break. I mean, they're just built awesomely. Uh, the hinge pins is the hinge pins are actually in great shape. They're not bent. I did check those because that's kind of one of the things you got to think about when you're upgrading like this. Do the stock arms flex or don't they? I'm not sure that the stock arms on this truck ever flex to begin with. Um, they're very rigid, and these are more rigid. So the arms, I'm happy with them. Uh, they're definitely staying on the truck. I'm hoping to get some more stuff from uh, Vitavon, the uh, transmission case and the whole front bulkhead. I'd like to get that to actually complete the package. The rear axle housing, that's a Vitavon product as well. And I showed you guys in a previous video at how it transfers the heat away from the planetary. So that was also a great upgrade for this truck as well. So, and in the description, there are links to all this stuff from Vitavon for this truck. So, uh, guys, hopefully you liked the video, and um, thank you all for watching.